What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dark and Feels. And before we get into anything, man, make sure you like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Say what's up, so you're interested, everybody, mind. But hey, it's been a minute. This feels like, I don't know. Feels like it's been like weeks. It's been like four days, so. You know, just took some time off. You know, sometimes it's needed, man. But hey, we back. We back, man. And we're taking a look at Cat Williams today. Fast food. Great America fast food, actually. So. Got the fucking sirens going. You got some. It's raining like a bitch outside. <sighs> but hey, man. Let's get into it. Let's, let's, let's get into it. Let's talk in more watching. And like always, man. <sighs> I feel like I already took a deep breath, but. Deep breath, gang. All my Cat Williams stands out there, man. Let's get into it. Shit's getting aggressive. Shit's Never getting more fails. aggressive. Mix up the Fast headphones. food is getting more aggressive. Fast food used to be just a decision you make. Now they getting aggressive. And we gotta know when to draw the line. Taco Bell done started trying to trap niggas. <laughs> Bro, I fucking love... I try to stop eating fast food, but I love Taco Bell so much. The double XL nachos when they had that bitch. Oh, Nacho Bel Grande. The slushies. Fucking gas, man. Taco Bell is undefeated. Undefeated. It's so bad, though. I gotta go all around the country warning my people to beware. Taco Bell is trying to trap niggas. Yes, they made a taco out of chicken meat. Yeah, trying to trap niggas in there. We got to draw the line. No, Taco Bell. No. We don't stop them now. They'll have chitlin' chimichangas and home <laughs> nachos. No. We don't want no cornbread churro. Make them regular. That would be gas, though. Some nice cornbread churros. <sighs> That's doing something, man. Someone's got to get hip to it. Boston Market got some good-ass cornbread, too. That shit is gas. It's gas. Fast food done got more aggressive. You know who I blame for this shit. That motherfucking Popeyes lady. <laughs> I love Popeyes, but I can't stand that motherfucking Popeyes lady. That bitch is a slave. Every time you hear her, she's singing that slave-ass chicken song. Just love. Shut the fuck up, bitch. That bitch got. Well, I'ma let you know, white people, in front of up. all these minorities, that bitch does not speak for all niggas. <laughs> We've been frying chicken for 400, 500 goddamn years. This bitch just coming up with new recipes. She ain't checked with accurate? niggas at all. Because every two weeks, she got a new chicken niggas have never heard of. Try a new ghost pepper chicken. Wait a minute, bitch. Niggas don't even believe in ghosts. You Stop the cap. <laughs> we'll forget. Actually, I feel like they do. Because, you know, the whole, um... What was it? Like voodoo type shit in Louisiana. It kind of fits the narrative, you know? Popeyes, Louisiana. Some gumbo. Mm. Damn, I'm hungry as fuck now. You don't get that voodoo shit. ass chicken out of here, bitch. We are <laughs> Christians on this side, I'll have you know. <laughs> fuck that bitch. <laughs> Every time she do a commercial, it's got to be some coonery and shit. She got Jerry Rice looking like Scatman Crothers with Vaseline on his face with a helmet on, eating chicken wings and dancing and shit. Looking like some baby back ribs. Everybody get more aggressive. The most aggressive is Arby's. Arby's <laughs> is aggressive. Every 45 seconds, Arby's got three new sandwiches and a brand new commercial. Hey. They trying to catch the niggas into coming in there. Dun, 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 dun. That don't even sound attractive. You should stop saying that. That does not sound good. That shit keep glitching. Poor Arby's. Like, Arby's we have is the desperate. Meats. Arby's been cooking for 150 years. 
they just found out niggas do not eat roast beef. <laughs> Every nigga in here know where a roast beef sandwich is at Arby's. You wouldn't go to Arby's to save your life. If Jesus came back to an Arby's, you'd have to meet him in the parking lot. Just, no, Jesus, <laughs> I'm right outside. So as as I'm outside the door. No, I can't eat nothing out of there but the curly fries and the Jamocha shake, Jesus. That's the only thing my stomach will... The curly fries be so gas. But, hey, don't sleep on their BLTs. Get the BLT from Arby's. That bitch is gas. It's gas, man. I'm telling you, it's gas. It's kind of expensive, you know, Arby's, though. Arby's got 10 bucks almost. items on the menu. Bust I went to Arby's, heads. they gave me a sandwich with meatloaf, corned beef, brisket, pulled ham, turkey, two fish sticks, a crab cake, a dollar of <laughs> coleslaw, on two pieces of hot water cornbread for a dollar twenty-nine. Came with two bag of chips and three drinks. Please come to Arby's. They desperate. <laughs> they do be desperate. And I know. I talk a lot about race, but I don't want people to think it's more racist than it usually is. No, it's the same. Yes. If you tall Damn. and dark with a deep voice, they love your motherfucking ass. That nigga selling the shit out them all state commercials. You're in good hands <laughs> with all states. The white people like I trust him. I really do. I swear I to God. He has our best interests at heart. And... <laughs> you tall and dark with a deep voice. They love you. That nigga Morgan selling Freeman. the shit out them ADT commercials. Ben Rain's right motherfucking in the front camera. Don't you even think about coming in here? If you don't get your black ass out of this front yard for we both get shot, <laughs> come in here, ADT. You tall and dark, they love you. Samuel L. Jackson is still selling the shit out them Capital One commercials. That nigga oh be cleaner gosh, than the board I of swear. health. He just sounds too edgy at the end, like he might maybe could rob you. Just what's in your wallet? Well, God damn, Sam, what the fuck? You still out there, nigga? <laughs> About what's in your wallet? What's in your wallet? That shit is funny, bro. I don't know about you, but hey, man. Let me know what you guys think in the video in the comments down below. I feel like my head gets bigger every single time I make a video, man. It's just inevitable. Oh, and I'm cutting my fucking hair, so then my head will really look big. But hey, man. Again, let me know what you guys think in the video in the comments down below. Say what's up. Say what do you want to. Say what's on your mind. But hey. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys, man. We had seven on here. The family's growing strong. Growing strong, man. But hey, hope you're having a great day. Do everything you want to do, man. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Peace.